Okay, so today uh, I come to Poland to visit my friend Michalina from MM Instruments hello. and also Piotr, say hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, today we want to welcome you in our workshop. This is the workshop where we build our hurdy gurdies, the MM Instruments workshop. And we just want to quickly show you around so that you can get to know our workshop and also see where the gurdies are born and where the magic happens. So the uh, Krakow uh, workshop here in Krakow is one of few places where our MM Herdy Gerdis begin uh, its life. Oh, let's see, let's Actually, see. Actually, yeah. Mm, here is the usually the final step of the. So we start from the end. Usually the last step of making the Gerdy comes here. This is our like movable stand. Then we can, you know, hold it. That's around. cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, adjust to your. Adjust to your height, height, no, and then you work. Yeah. So yeah. Also for this, we have like later we started preparing this uh, like uh, toolboxes uh, for everything. This one is uh, specially made for the melody strings. So you can took this, and you have you are certain that you have everything uh, together, uh, everything you need to mount and glue the melody bridge to the hurdy gurdy. That's pretty like, nice. How many people uh, do work here right now? Uh, at the moment we have like uh, five workers in the workshop. Five? Yeah, yeah. Yes, That's but sometimes cool. it's even even more. Uh, we have limited space, so nowadays we try to make everything you know la as as packed as possible. So here we have the mm, gluing of the uh, of the trumpet bridge. Uh, exactly, trumpet the, bridge. Yes, to and the, this one. Is okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, this one was like uh, for checking the key boxes for applause, waiting. Uh, the vernish uh, is is still hardening. It's polyurethane, so it took some time to, to completely uh, dry and harden. There are also uh, some trigo on the way. Uh, the new okay. gurdy. This you yes. will be hearing samples and reviews very soon of the new trigo. And this is where you do the pictures, no? I guess. Yes, we have here. We do pictures, but also we can use this space to check the uh, gurdies with Michalina. Of course, to do the intonation, the adjustment yes. of pressure, and all of the yes. adjustments needed. Exactly. Okay. Here is all the you know uh, emails, emails and stuff, and uh, actually email. Uh, Sarah is working oh, uh, remotely. Course. Our uh, customer service uh, department, uh, so she's doing everything uh, from home. But, but this uh, is the office. No? Yeah, here we have office for you know uh, managing all the all the stuff. Yes, we have some saphonas. One uh, saphona, another saphona. This saphona is uh, ready for one month already, but we always leave saphona for some time to, you know, sit down and uh, you know to adjust to the uh, humidity changes. Of course. And uh, after after this, usually two months. These days, sometimes uh, even three four months. Because we want to be sure that uh, of course. it won't move. Uh, we want uh, Gurdis to be stable, no? Yes, and you can see with <laughs> <laughs> amount of dust. Well, dust. this this we will clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's 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 here for a while. Amazing. In, in ready state, so <laughs> that's it there. This one came from varnishing very lastly. It has a beautiful sapella. It's a very beautiful uh, finish. Look wood. at that red. Here is and the key box. And Yes, and cedar, cedar top. This is this ah, one, amazing. This one looks really beautiful, and yeah, nice. And sap at the back. Super. Here we have the strings and some tools. We saw the strings and here's and the soldering station because we make our own electronics for the gurdy. So if you need to solder something in the workshop, you would come here and work here. This is our custom preamp for uh, electric hurdy gurdy. We have electric one here. So this one will go here. This is a solid yes. body, yeah? Electric, electric, electric hardy gurdy. Electric hardy with solid body, but it's actually, I would say, rather semi hollow. As you can see, it's empty inside. However, you know, it's you still have thick, thick walls, thick sides and back here and also top plate is full not spruce or cedar which is soft and sensitive maple is 
card and, and also, very beautiful right? yes and beautiful which is uh, also the big advantage of this model so let's uh, see the more messy uh, stuff we have <laughs> all the masks <laughs> safety here. first exactly uh, okay so here we have here. some people working let's yes. see yes we have the here we clean these elements uh, which we previously do on the the CNC CNC machine so so let's see if they can know what this is okay yes. show it to the camera exactly this is uh, which bridge which bridge okay which bridge is this <laughs> this is uh, this will be the bridge uh, for drones okay so we make uh, it from two pieces glue it together uh, so we have uh, perfectly aligned holes then we drill and put the nuts inside because we started to make these threads for the drone strings so you can easily adjust them with your hand perfect yeah. so this is how the uh, drone bridges are born i used to record here oh, really? we had a computer and there are a few youtube videos i did that are recorded in this very room you can probably still recognize this because these were all around the wall <laughs> here and i was just filming in the basement so Super. we have so many different machines here we polish the girdies here we paint stuff this is like living on Christmas Day, no? Because <laughs> these are all of the presents uh, packed. Just nylon strings for, uh, trumpets. for trumpets. And these uh, drone strings we uh, do ourselves. These are these are actually rope core and wound is uh, either copper or it's mostly copper, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, yes. Maybe we can go here because I ch I usually work here. So okay, so you, this is your space, no? This yes. is where your uh, part of the work here is yeah. to adjust uh, the instruments, no? So yeah. they arrive in uh, good condition. Yes, so my job at the workshop is to do the quality check of our instruments. So I check the trigos, I check the uplos, I check saphonas and the custom models and the electric motors as well. But usually we do mostly uplo and saphona. So it all happens here. This is basically where we spend a few hours. Nice. That, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, how long does it take you know, to, to check one of the instruments, each instrument? Usually it takes about an hour of adjustment per instrument. So if I have to check, let's say, two or three girdies during one check session, then it takes two, three hours, something like this. And we try to set them up as well as possible so they can arrive to the customers is in as good condition as possible so that they don't have to worry about the adjustment themselves but of course you know during the travel things happen and you have to adjust it anyways so we try to do it as well as we can for you but then still the job of hurdy gurdy player is 50 percent playing and 50 percent adjustment yes <laughs> so what's happening here what is happening i'm actually adjusting let's like, say uh, something for this to place here this part ah. it doesn't look nice yet but later we're gonna make some adjustments okay and make a trumpet oh be look at right that. here nice so i know it can be tricky but trust me it does the work <laughs> and you have to adjust the with here perfectly so you can use your trumpet with ease and you have to make sure that it's not blocking inside. So if, if you can see that the trumpet is not moving, it can mean that there may be some kind of dust or mm -hmm, too mm -hmm, much mm -hmm. of uh, of a wood inside. But that one is actually moving Perfect. Uh, pretty, pretty well. And yeah, the other thing I did here actually is making the uh drone bit right here i'm gonna do some finish later to actually make it nice and smooth so you won't feel all those edges around here and yeah and later i'm gonna use another part which is not here yet and it's 
that one. The ear the of ear, the instrument. Yep. Okay. That's true. Super. Ah, here we have. Uh, here we have our uh, checklist for each Gerdi. This is quite uh, important. Yes, we have like every single... Many processes. How many processes do you know by memory, the number? Uh, actually, uh, for this is a uh, checklist only for the packing the Gerdi Gerdi. Oh, holy smokes. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's, not, it's not for, you know, like other stuff, like mounting things and, and so on. So this is this is only for, uh, for packaging. So we really don't want to uh, forget uh, to pack something or... <laughs> You know, uh, it's maybe it's not that obvious, but when you have this r almost ready Gerdy, without this checklist, it would be really easy uh, to forget about, uh, you know, strap holders or, you know, imagine this, like, or, like, or the holder for this the, little piece or, or, or whatever, no, one key or actually this, this one is, is, is hard to forget because, you know, uh, of course, when, when, when you, the strings are there, when you set up the Gerdy uh, and you cannot uh, put of course, the of course. Uh, trumpet off, that, but uh, that, yeah, we, you will find out. But of course, but the strap, no, for example. Yeah, we don't use we don't use strap during, during the final setup because we have the Gerdys like here. Of course, of course. Yes. And during during uh, final and quality control, Michalina also do it this way. Of course. All, she she play like this during the setup, so she, this thing could be easily forgotten. Could be lost. <laughs> this one uh, for the, mm, for wheel, the cover wheel cover, yes. Also could be forgotten. Uh, wheel cover, I think uh, more more uh, advanced players can remember the situation that for uh, <laughs> forgot this somewhere because. Actually, yeah, you just put it away <laughs> in the room and... <laughs> and you know that I, I, I never use the, 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 wheel, cover. the wheel covers and yeah. I asked Marco Gamarra to not put one on my uh, next Gurdi because I always uh, break them yeah. or I lose <laughs> them or something weird happens. So I decided yeah. never to use a, a wheel cover again. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> so uh, yes, but you don't want to forget. We uh, don't want to forget it. To uh, forget them. <laughs> Nowadays we have also the uh, our internal system to manage the herdy gerdies. So here is the list of our workers, and also we have we have like uh, our own internal app for the herdy gerdy management. Nice. Uh, that's that's uh, high so, quality. <laughs> yes, I can I can show it here. We have like. Gerd is here, Gerd is with done keyboard, Gerd is which are at the moment uh, for, uh, on tuning. This is very nice because you basically, uh, you basically can control everything that happens in the workshop just going here, no? Just yes. instead of asking people, no? Asking your, your guys, you just come here and say, yeah. okay, actually, what's doing, who's doing this, who's doing yeah. that, what's happening? Actually, no? I, have, I have this app on my phone, so I can uh, manage things uh, remotely all the time. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that was a big step for us to manage all this process, uh, which is very complicated. Herdy Gerdy is extremely complicated instrument. And when we do like 20 Gerdys every month, we need to take care of so many things going simultaneously <laughs> all the time. That yeah, tools like this are uh, really, really helpful. Yeah. We yeah. can learn some Czech uh, because I don't know what uh, body is. Bude, actually, it's a funny, funny story because uh, Bude, uh, Buddha is funny story because it's our internal name. Uh, because Buddha uh, is a house for a dog, and uh, because this, <laughs> these are the bridges for Aplosien, called them Bude. So this is the Budi, the <laughs> house of the dog. That's quite yeah, nice. Yeah, exactly. That was fun. <laughs> And here we have another linguistic curiosity because this part is called klapka in Polish and klapki is also flip-flops. Klapki for Aplo. Klapki for Aplo, klapki for Safona with yeah. customizations. Can you show me yeah. one of the custom ones? Yes, of course. So look like at that. Oh my God, look at that. Beautiful. Wind or... This one for electric Herdy Gerdy, and this one also really cool design. Mm. And also different colors. Of course, with different colors. Oh, here is nice. Uh, oh, beautiful! Look at that. And uh, them to you. So 
let's go. So that's nice. Here we pack the girdies uh, like this uh, with a lot of a lot of inside bubble wrap. Yes. Oh my God! So it's quite a lot of packing material in here. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our packing station the entire room yeah, dedicated for uh, packing blue gurdy there beautiful mm -hmm. so uh, we can say what uh, what i came here for no okay also? yes so we we came here i came here uh, to check the new model uh, by mm the new trigo so can you tell us a little bit about it oh yes of course it's our newest model the latest addition to the mm instruments collection so to speak and it's a simple hurdy gurdy it has one melody string one drone string and one trumpet string it's made out of cedar wood and it's a good choice i think not only for beginners but also for hurdy gurdy players who are looking for something a little bit more compact a little bit more small good for traveling also it's a soprano gurdy so if you're a fan of these higher registers on the hurdy gurdy then this is definitely something for you and the trumpet is killer on it so i really recommend it if you like short and snappy and crispy trumpet you are going to like it <laughs> perfect so we will be having a full review of the trigo in the channel very soon well it was a very nice uh, tour of your uh, workshop thank you michalina thank you for coming. thanks always to piotr yes so it was very nice to see where the magic happens and i think all of uh, your customers will really really enjoy this video yeah i hope so as well so we we are always happy to have you over at mm instruments workshop <laughs> keep on cranking bye <laughs>